now when do i not need a flow now when would you not need a flow basically this comes into scenarios wherein you are not able to handle a logic that is super complex or a processing that involves a lot of use cases a different different set of if else conditions different set of nested if conditions different set of complex logic some calculations some processing if any of such scenarios occur you can very well choose not to go with flow and you can either invoke an apex call which is nothing but a server call or you can completely go and write custom code for it you do not have to stick to flow that you know i have flow builder let me do everything from here no that might not work in certain cases okay so scenarios where you need better handling of third party integrations right this is nothing but handling integrations any any api related work though flows provide you some set of callouts and uh, capabilities but i would still suggest if your integration or your third party vendor requirements are a bit tricky and uh, need a bit of work go with uh, apex go with writing custom code it's not like you should not write code at all right it's just that use flows wherever you think they are handy and they help you avoid code that's that's the agenda that's the narrative it's not the other way around okay about data validations you can do data validations from triggers and apex code you can write some very complex processing lo logic all of these scenarios or some more you can go with apex instead of flow now for those of you who do not know apex this is the server side language that salesforce has right apex cool so i'll, I'll, I'll be using these words uh, here and there so uh, be with me on that